Um, hi, my name is Christian. Um, we uh, uh, built a, a shopping a browser plugin that we called for now uh, Greener Shopping, and I want to tell you what, why we uh, did it. Um, what's what's our challenge? Or we wanted to build uh, or change the shopping behavior, the traditional shopping behavior, and. Uh, shape it in a more environmentally friendly and sustainable way and uh, the, the most problem uh, or the biggest problem is for each solution to get attention for this solution so um, that's that's in general a challenge for every every new product so we try to implement this in the idea as well and uh, we think that sharing uh, is is important and maximizing the impact so that's uh, what we also keep in mind when we build a plugin. So what we did is basically a, a small browser plugin that every user can install and shows on different uh, websites, shopping websites, uh, data about the climate friendliness of products or uh, data about sustainability of products. And how we did this, um, we basically implement uh, different data sources, so a lot of different NGOs can plug into this uh, 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 browser plugin and provide their data and the user can ch uh, show or ch uh, change uh, what data he wants to see. So uh, to, uh, after uh, we get into more detail, I think um, Nico will show it so very quickly. Uh, hopefully, it's a bit difficult right now, it's okay. Okay, um, right now we are seeing the Amazon page and we have basically the data source from Regreen, but they um, activate it. So they right now show us this information about the product, so the sustainability of this product. Uh, they rated it uh, to, uh, with a 3 which is, well, in the middle. <laughs> um, but now we can also um, change to another data provider, for example, um, CDP. Um, so now in the middle, this gets changed to um, another rating company, basically. Um, and now it it's uh, tells us a little bit about the company itself, so um, Siemens, Siemens in this case. And yeah, and then this basically this, this works with all the um, products and companies which are in the data source. So, for example, Toshiba in this case. So, yeah, not right now it's only for um, Amazon, but it's quite easy to implement it for all the other um, shopping websites. Yeah, and what what's, uh, what we want to do is uh, basically uh, changing the behavior of of the user that's shopping by hacking it. Not because it's essential. Uh, if you want to change behavior, you have to make it as easy as possible. If you want to in inform uh, the, the the user with new uh, new ways, um, we wanted to to create a, a more conscious way of uh, uh, shopping. So. Um, we try to uh, keep that in mind and reach uh, the, the most broad audience for it. Um, and we, 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 try, uh, we try to uh, make sure that we combine resources and knowledge and not combining only resources, we combine uh, memberships of different parties. Um, what is, are the benefits of this plugin? For the user, it's really easy. It's uh, effort, an effortless uh, integration for him. He gets various information instead of only one information, of, uh, for instance, only one uh, NGO. And um, it, it, it fits uh, different needs of different users um, by combining different data. Um, and it combines uh, the aspect of exploring and fun uh, because you can uh, switch to to different information. What are the benefits for the partners? And that is really important to understand that if we include another partner, for example, Greenpeace as an NGO that provides us data, um, all other partners be directly benefit, and the new partner benefits as well because 
the uh, user only has to install the plugin once and he gets, if a new partner joins, he gets the partner uh, as well and the, the value of this plugin uh, increases with every new partner and the new partner also has a, a, working, a working user base. So it's very low, low cost for every uh, NGO because it only has to implement it once and gets all the benefits out of it. So what we need for it is uh, a responsible project manager to, to get it, this rolling and uh, a dedicated and supported uh, developer. Thank you for listening. Judges will now ask you questions. Hi guys, uh, great presentation, thank you. I guess I, <clears throat> I guess I didn't quite understand, um, A, what, how do you determine who is an eligible partner? Um, because you guys are talking about products, Siemens, Bosch, and other products, and you know, if I'm big evil corporate, I could just buy myself into giving specific data and driving my product as greener even though it isn't. Um, so, yeah, maybe you can tell me a little bit how, who's an eligible partner and how do you determine that? Um, for, first of all, we will use uh, CDP's data and we were an NGO uh, which uh, ranks um, the behavior of big co companies uh, in terms of CO2 emissions. So we have two different scoring or rankings one for from 1 to 100 that means the transparency and then from a to b that means actually okay even if you're really transparent you get a score from 100 but at the same time th this doesn't mean that you're really good so you can be have 100 and at the same time have an e for example and so we will we will really choose um, ngos or social entrepreneurs which have really transparent um, data, which can be verified, and we will it will have to fulfill some criteria. Um, yeah, thanks again for your presentation. I think it's really um, interesting to have this rating integrated in a website that's already there, that I don't have to go to another website to check um, the rating of uh, a company. So one, uh, I have two questions. One is, is the rating you give for a company or for the specific product that you have there? And also, is it possible that your, um, that your plug-in gives alternatives to that product? Because I assume that uh, if I buy, have to buy a new TV, then the rating might be more or less the same for any time TV that I'm going to uh, look at. So is there an alternative that you can give me with that plug-in as well? I mean, that's the core uh, um, feature of this plugin that you can use different data sources and different data sources, for example, give different uh, features. For example, CDB can then say, okay, we have a similar uh, company uh, that is better, so check it out on uh, the Amazon page as well. Um, WeGreen, for example, can, has, has a lot of analyzing or analyzes uh, possible to the API where you can see better products uh, when if, if it's a red product, so that's possible. But another, uh, another um, data source could have other features that are really uh, more into the user's needs. For example, uh, calculating the, uh, the carbon footprint on uh, behaving differently. So that's the, 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 I think, a feature of this plugin that it combines different information, different features through different uh, uh, sources. And yeah, providing it to the user. Okay, I'll, I'll try and be quick on this one. Um, so you've mentioned CDP and WeGreen, and there are other, other organizations that collate data about this, and uh, they stand to gain from this by extending their reach uh, so people know about you know, their database of information, things like that. Uh, do you expect them to be the people who would be paying for the development of this to increase their reach, or is there another another body that would be funding development of this because development is actually quite expensive uh, when, when, when you think about all the browsers and all the things you need to look after. Yeah. Do you want? No, you can, and I can add something. 
I mean, uh, we developed this plugin, and it looks not good right now, but it is really easy to to uh, add functionality, and we build it like that is really extensible and really easy to extensible. And for each every for every new partner, it's really easy to implement because he has only one implementation step, and he gains the benefit of all other implementations. So basically, that means he has only a, a small snippet he has to provide, or we have to build, and all the logic that's behind putting uh, the information on the website is already in the in the in the plugin. So there's no extra need for him, but. Uh, we need somebody that maintains the plugin, of course. It's not running by itself. Yeah. Can, I, can we just, uh, the judges should be briefer as well. <laughs>